Good morning and welcome to Coffee Walk. I got some great stuff for you this week. I'm going to show you the two 6.4 Hemi conversions that we're just about done with. And from there, we're going to take off, go on a test drive so you can feel and hear the noise of the 6.4. We're not going to do donuts, unfortunately, because it is a customer Jeep. Then after that, I'm going to take you and you're going to get to see the reveal of in several coffee walks what we had listed as a secret. And it is a Fox Body Mustang. We have not done a Fox Body Mustang post in quite some time. As you know, I'm a huge fan of the Fox Body Mustang. And yes, it's a holy grail. And yes, you got to stay tuned. And yes, you're going to share it because people love the Fox Body Mustang. So let's see what's happening in Colin and Chris's area. Is it alive, guys? Oh, it's alive, sir. Okay. So we have Tri-City Customs out of Oklahoma City sent us this Jeep. They're one of our newest Black Mountain licensees. They have everything in stock for your 07 to 18 JK. They're professional installers. They build killer stuff, show cars and show Jeeps. So let's hear it. I haven't heard this one yet. I still love it every time seeing something in the paint booth and seeing when these guys put a new heart in a vehicle. So it's 6.4 Hemi. Awesome. So I tell you what's incredibly impressive. This is number, I think, 91? Yes, 91. 91 that Colin and Chris have done. Literally, they are so particular. The first time they hit the key, almost every time I wanted to jinx them, but lately it starts up every single time. So our installs are insane. They look OE, they're killer. Let's go see the other big Jeep, which also came into us from Oklahoma. Actually, that's not a big Jeep. This was a stock Jeep. That's going to Tri-Cities, like I said, again in Oklahoma City. It's going to be built into a stage three, so watch them build this Jeep. Morning, guys. Morning. So obviously this is a big, heavy-built custom Jeep with a lot of Fab Four stuff, a lot of expensive parts and accessories. Customer loves his Jeep, but he just hated the performance. Got really cool coffee holders in here. One thing we did change on this, we put a Black Mountain hood on it because the hood that was on it, the 6.4 wouldn't fit under. It was kind of just some odd fiberglass thing. Check that out. If that's not beautiful and OE fresh looking, I don't know what is. Now let's go take this for a test drive. And again, I'm gonna take you to see a holy grail Fox Body Mustang. And something else I get asked a lot. In my opinion, what is a, a good future collectible? So I'm gonna show you one of those as well. Something I think is a good buy right now in the market. Something you can hold and should double in value. And if you've been watching the Fox Body Mustangs over the last three years, we sold 42 of them at Barrett Jackson, and the market has actually more than doubled on those cars. But let's go take this for a ride. You gotta love it, it sounds awesome. So if you've run a business as long as I have, 35 years, your keychain looks like a janitor. Actually, all these keys still work. go take this for a rip not knock the top off of it outstanding I said when you're running 37 inch tires it helps to have a 6.4 Hemi I am a fan of the Pentastar motors I'm not ragging them I just People have 100,000 plus in their Jeeps or 60, 70, 80 grand, and they're not happy with the way they perform. This is the way to fix it. So in and out of traffic, passing people, I mean, you just got an incredible amount of power. I mean, hit 6,500 real quick, 500 horsepower in a Jeep, awesome. There's one thing some of the other conversion companies that are out there, which uh, we like to think we do better, is. Colin and Chris spent a tremendous amount of time on the tuning of not only the engine management system, the, P the PCM, the computer for the motor, but the transmission computer as well. Um, we know the tunes that are out there for the 6.4 JKs. We have all those tunes. We don't use those. We use our own custom tune. Um, you know, after 91 of these, we feel like we have the best shift points. They idle the best and run the best. No codes aren't in the dash. The only one that's on is traction control because I turned it off earlier, but get that off. Just incredible G, but watch how quick it revs up. In 
insane. See how crisp it shifts? The other tunes that are out there, which we've got, again, we've got them all, do not shift properly. And that really bothers people. And look at that hood. So that's our Black Mountain Cow Hood. Love it. I'm gonna get killed for doing this. If you buy a cow hood today, you're gonna get free shipping. Enough of the sales pitch. We're about to pull in and see the uh, Holy Grail Fox body. And those of you that were really paying attention, you think my coffee is gonna make it all the way there on the front bumper? Because in the past, it did. It stayed on one of the Black Mountain bumpers for the entire test drive. I'm betting that this Jeep drives smooth enough and it handles good enough, but that coffee's still up there. <laughs> Bam! So if you're not a fan of the Grumper Bumper, it's good for holding coffee. Boom, there it is. 1980 M81 McLaren, one of 11 built. I absolutely love this car. 524 actual miles. Those of you that have had the privilege to see these cars that have been sitting for many years didn't store really well. So we got this car in with 524 actual miles. Those are the original tires. We got all the proper paperwork to back it up. If you look at the interior of this car, it is literally as new and is stunning. Now, we blew this entire car apart. I was not happy with the paint quality that it had back in the day and not happy with the fit and finish on some of the fiberglass pieces. So we went over the top on this uh, restoration. I want you to see the engine bay. So in 1980, Ford, this is when SVO started with McLaren. So you had Ford, the SVO division, and McLaren built the 2.3 liter turbo. The goal was to build 250 of these cars so they could get into homologation. Well, it didn't happen. They only ended up building 11. So what happened was the cars were so expensive. These cars were $25,000 in 1980. They went back to the drawing board to try to figure out how they could better produce these cars for less money. Well, the answer was Ford was gonna to have to do all the work themselves. And there in the 1984, the SVO was born, was built from 84 to 86, which I've been honored to have some of the best of those in the world. But I want you to see the work my guys did at the shop on this. The detail is absolutely phenomenal. Everything that's supposed to be CAD plated is CAD plated. Every single hose is absolutely correct. Every hose clamp, every piece on this motor is the, is the original parts that were on this motor from the factory, but we redid everything to the highest standard. Every decal's been reproduced. Tyler, our graphic artist, did all those. These did come with McLaren engines. All the aluminum has been cleaned, polished, recoded, and anodized. We just absolutely knocked this thing out of the park. So, what is a Holy Grail M81 worth? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Yes, this is my first lead into Barrett-Jackson. It's going to Barrett-Jackson. I work closely with Jeff Catlin there. He's one of their Mustang gurus. Mike McCullough is a Mustang guru too, but I haven't been working with him because he's so incredibly busy. So check it out. One of my favorite Fox bodies of all time. One of the 11 McLarens ever built. Came with Recaro seats. And this is also a really trick piece. Which I absolutely love cars from the factory that have these. Stuart Warner gauges, and you can see right here, well, we got it with 524 miles. It's got 525 on it now. Uh, obviously, we haven't driven much. We'll, we'll put a few more test miles before it goes to Barrett. But the guys just absolutely killed it on this car. We have one best painted on Rama three years in a row. But factory roll bar. This car deserves to be in one of the top box body collections in the world. There are some really neat ones out there, and I love the guys that are spending the time to take care of these cars and put these collections together. Most of the major collections do not have one of these. Somebody's going to end up with it. Now, I get asked the question a lot, what is a good future collectible? What is a good car right now I could buy reasonably? This one right here is one of my favorite ones right now in the market. This is the 2001 Bullet. They made roughly 3,800 of these cars. If you could find one really short miles, pristine condition, like this one's got 18,000 miles on it. 
The Bullet Mustang is one of the biggest car stories right now because it's about to go to market, but it's also one of the most heavily cloned cars. Almost all the 67 and 68 fastbacks are, are being turned into a bullet car. So this was Ford's version in 2001. Really a neat car, uh, reasonably priced. This car will also be going to Barrett Jackson. And on the hit on the roll bar, love cars with roll bar. Let me show you a very, very, very special red eye. I really love the red eyes. Basically a demon for the street. 797 horsepower. This one's plumb crazy, but it's the only one in existence, or at least that I'm aware of. So it's a backseat delete car, which you can get in the red eyes, just like a demon. If you look at this, this car's got factory harnesses in it. And I'm gonna get Tyler in here with the camera. But it's got this car also has the demon harness bar in the back. So check it out. Super trick item. So thanks for watching. This is a really, really unique piece and Car World is coming out December 23rd on my YouTube channel. It's Dennis Collins Car World. We have literally had, not exaggerating, over 100,000 people ask, when are you gonna do a show? Well, what we did is we did it ourselves. This is something we filmed a long time ago and pitched. We pulled it in-house. Tyler actually edited it at Collins Brothers. December 23rd, there'll be eight episodes, so hopefully you'll binge watch over Christmas. Have a great day.